hello dudes welcome to my piping engineering youtube channel hope you are all doing good i am also doing good now in this video we will see what is uh, the basics and how to read the, the isometric drawings now we can start with some uh, symbols for isometric drawing the basic things we need to know uh, before uh, reading the isometrics so we can start from here uh, you can see uh, this is the description and the iso symbol now uh, this is the pipe uh, which it is indicates this normal pipe and uh, this is the traced line uh, traced line uh, this pipe line this piping indicates uh, like this in isometric now uh, we need to know what is uh, traced line uh, this is the pipe tracing okay uh, there are two types of tracing one is uh, steam tracing and electrical tracing now what is tracing? Pipe tracing is uh, commonly used to ensure that process fluid or material temperature within pipes and the piping systems are maintained above ambient temperature during static flow conditions along with the, the along with providing supplemental freeze protection in certain applications. Now this is the uh, pipe tracing and uh, this symbol indicates the jacketed uh, line. Now, uh, if you see the symbol in uh, isometric, which means it is jacketed. Uh, what is jacketed line? What is jacketed piping? Jacketed piping are nothing but uh, essentially pipes within pipes. The inner core, the inner pipe core transports the product, and the outer pipe jacket serves a heating or cooling pipe. Uh, that is, we called as jacketed line, and this this uh, symbol indicates the flow direction and this is the pipe slope and this is uh, existing hidden underground lines this is the match line this is the battery limit and uh, we called it this dot as butt weld and the uh, field weld will be indicated like this and the weld neck is like this and the slip on flange slip on flange will be like this in uh, isometric drawing screwed socket weld and blind flange will be uh, indicated uh, like this in this isometry this is a lap joint flange this is spectacle blind uh, this is 90 degree mitered elbow that will be the two cut and uh, this is 90 degree mitered elbow three cuts pulled bend this is the pulled bend now this is 90 degree elbow uh, or bend other than butt weld and flanged. This is 90 degree elbow bend butt weld. This is flanged 90 degree elbow. T butt weld will be indicated like this. This is the T flanged coupling and half coupling will be indicated like this. This is the reducer, concentric reducer. This is the eccentric reducer. This swag nipple cone will be like this. Swag nipple eccentric will be like this. And uh, flange reducer, flange reducer eccentric, strainer and strainer flange will be located like this. Now, uh, before uh, we need to read uh, the isometric drawings, we should know uh, these all symbols, then only we can understand. So before you are reading, just, just keep these symbols in mind so that you can understand very easily now we can see some valves uh, valve tags uh, sorry valve how it is located in uh, isometric this is the gate wall here the this is the image of the gate wall and there is uh, three types of welds butt weld socket weld threaded threaded or flanged weld so gate wall will be like this Mm, and the flanged symbol will be like this and the socket will be symbol like this okay for globe wall uh, there is some uh, dot between uh, in center of the wall and flanged symbol will be like this and the socket or the third symbol will be like this this is the ball wall symbol for butt weld for flanged symbol well, flanged for socket weld this is the plug wall for butt weld for flanged and the socket weld this is the butterfly wall will be located uh, uh, indicate like this this is the flange one this is the needle wall uh, this is for uh, flanged one this is for uh, socket weight this is diaphragm wall 
for both this one uh, flanger and socket this is the y type uh, wall uh, which is located here you can see this will be like this y type wall uh, it will be uh, like this for socket weld flanger one and uh, the sorry this is for butt weld flanger one and socket weld now this is the symbol <coughs> which indicates in uh, isometry what, uh, for butt weld symbol will be like this 90 degree elbow this is the elbow and for socket weld the uh, 90 degree elbow will be uh, like this and threaded joint will be indicator like this in isometry for 45 degree elbow the butt weld symbol will be like this and the so socket weld symbol will be like this and threaded joint will be like this for equal t butt weld and socket weld and threaded weld for unequal uh, this is the symbols for unequal t for a butt socket and threaded this is the end cap symbol for a socket for butt weld threaded and socket weld this is the concept reducer uh, for but so, uh, threaded and socket this is the eccentric reducer for uh, uh, but socket and threaded wheels now we can enter into the isometric drawing now now you can see this is the isometric drawing so before you are reading the isometry you have to check some things so this is one this is the isometric we can uh, go through uh, isometric piping details and this is the uh, number drawing uh, line number it, it, it will it will indicate the line size 8 inch TW treatment water 0 0.22 is the code and the 1 FE 0 U 1 3 is the piping service class so FE indicates the field epoxy 0 indicates the 0 corrosion U means utility and 13 is uh, code and this is the drawing number XP273590. Okay, now <clears throat> before you are seeing the isometry, you have to check the direction and the flow, flow direction, uh, north direction. So, this is not north direction which indicates here. Okay, the north flow will be uh, in this direction. Now, you can see the flow direction from where the flow is coming here the flow direction is there so the flow is coming like this and going like this and going like this okay before you are seeing the isometric you have to check the flow direction okay there is some uh, isometric uh, checklist for uh, uh, checking uh, the isometrics so what is that means uh, it will be the line numbers line spec start point location end point location branch connections, valve accessibility, supports, insulations, instrument connection, flow arrow, high point vent, low point drain, hydro test vent and drain, nozzle connections, nozzle, no nozzle nose, equipment nose, coordinates and elevations, ISO north, build of material, valve tag number, instrument tag number, con con continuation sheet and the grid location and the uh, these are all uh, so we have to uh, check for the isometry and there's some documents required for uh, iso checking isometric is piping and instrumentation uh, diagrams we need uh, piping layouts sectional drawings equipment drawings nozzle orientations piping specifications support standards special item drawings stress analysis report this these are all we need uh, before checking the isometric so in this video i will show only the basic things and how to read the isometric so the flow is coming from here from which drawing connection on sheet 9 so this is the sheet 8 here you can see this is a sheet number 8 and it is coming from sheet number 9 the flow will be like this so the flow is coming here you are you can see 8 inch uh, nominal size so flow is coming like this this is the north and south east west the flow is coming from east to west okay like this east to west so it is going like that here one tapping is there 8 by 2 8 by 2 tapping is there so the tapping will go upside from 
UG to AG. This is the above ground and underground symbol. So this line all are in uh, underground and this will be the above ground. Okay. So it is going to above ground. It is going like this 406 and there is some wall is there. Uh, we can see before. This is the wall, uh, uh, gate wall. The size of the gate wall is 178. And there is one small spool that will be 338. Okay. And uh, there is one host connection. And uh, support also is there. You must your first one. This is a support tag. So what is the distance from uh, this header to elbow center? So it will be the 2030 mm will be the uh, distance uh, that is a spool under 1051 from underground to above ground uh, distance will be 1051 and uh, the from this elbow center to flange end the distance is 406 and the wall size is 178 mm this is the wall step up okay this step stem sorry wall stem up this stem will be in upside uh, this is the gate wall so this direction flow is flowing from here and again from uh, 13996 mm tapping is here and again uh, from uh, from this tapping center to this tapping the distance is 5225 okay and the uh, <coughs> drawing is connection connected on tw tw means treatment water 0532 drawing number will be xp273670 okay the elevation north and the east is given here so one tapping is there this is connected in uh, uh, tw0532 drawing okay and again one tapping is there from 6000 this center uh, to this center 6000 is there uh, it is connected in 0533 drawing A drawing number and uh, elevation east north everything given Again, one tapping is there from this one to this one. The distance is 6000 mm. Everything, all dimensions are, are in mm only. So, <laughs> this is the 8 by 2. 8 by 2 T. And it is going the upward direction. Upward direction. And here, this line is connected on sheet 7. The same drawing sheet number 7. Okay. Now, this is going upward direction from, from the center to above ground the distance is 1051 and the whole distance is 1931 one, one, okay the elevation we can check 6380 from this elbow center to this this is the support okay indicates here this support tagging is ms by still c1 cl1 to 300 this is the support tagging this elbow center to this uh, flange the distance is 35983 and there is one uh, valve is available here that is uh, stem up uh, stem will be up and here one uh, support is there in flange area nearby flange and again it is going downside there is one flow meter is given here uh, okay uh, here also one support is given uh, from uh, this flange to this uh, flange 288 the spool will be 288 okay and here uh, we can see from this flange to this elbow center 259 again the flow is going here you can see north the flow is going to south this is the south and it is going upside upside 2565 the here again it is going to the south direction uh, there is one uh, wall sorry there is one support is there here this is the support support tag is MSCL12300 like this it is uh, then it is going downside from south to downside it is connected in T51U 00890 this will be some equipment it is connected okay uh, now this is the isometric so we have to read like this uh, in this isometric there is uh, no BOM bill of material not given in other isometric, I will show you what is BOM bill of material and the uh, and, uh, pipe cut length also it is not given here. Now, what is a cut length means uh, from here to here example I am telling from here to here. What is a cut length? How much we need to cut? There is some uh, uh, standards for the fittings. So we have to cut these pipes uh, according to that for the fabrication uh, process. 
this is the this is the isometric basic things we have to know uh, if you have any doubt please comment in the comment box uh, i will i will make videos on that okay hope you are all understand this video thank you friends